the 19th regular meeting of the 2017-2018 Common Council. Would Clerk Sue Richards please read the quote for the day. Thank you, Michael. Um, and suddenly you know it's time to start something new and trust the magic of beginnings. Thank you for that thought. You're welcome. Next, we'll move on to the roll call. Uh, there are 14, 15 present. Sorry. 14. What are we missing? This many fingers. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that one. person Schneider and Alderperson Bellinger are excused. Next, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next, we'll move on to the uh, approval of minutes from our last council meeting. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next item is to swear in the new city clerk, Meredith De Bruin, by the current city clerk, Sue Richards. Thank you, Mayor. Just so everybody knows, um, Meredith will be sworn in for city clerk effective Saturday of this week, and my last day will be Friday the 5th. So on the 6th, Meredith will be the new city clerk. And Henry, I promise I won't cry. Okay. Good. <laughs> Would you raise your right hand and repeat after me? I, Meredith De Bruin, swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin and will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the Office of City Clerk to the best of my ability. So help me God. Is there uh, anybody for public forum this evening? I uh, know there is not. Okay, next we'll go on to mayor's announcements. First of all, I'd like to uh, invite Shar Pakniak and her uh, therapy dog, Faith, to come up. Uh, Shar is involved with the Horizon for Girls. Uh, she tells me that she's mentoring over 50 girls in our community, and this proclamation is to celebrate uh, National Mentoring Month. Um, whereas January is National Mentoring Month, celebrating the benefits of youth mentoring across the country. And whereas every day in communities across the country, caring adults volunteer their time with mentoring programs to create consistent and supportive relationships to young people. At this most basic level, mentoring is successful in real life because it guarantees that young people will have an adult to turn to and, uh, and guide their hand in dealing with day-to-day -day challenges. At a more complex level, there is a powerful mentoring effect that ultimately takes, that makes our community stronger. And whereas quality mentoring programs have proven to build relationships that improve school attendance, academic achievement, promote responsible decision making, and provide skills to better navigate relationships at school, socially, and at home. And whereas a report by a by a mentor, the National Mentoring Partnership found that young adults who were at risk for not completing high school but who had a mentor were 55% more likely to be enrolled in college than those who did not have a mentor, 81% more likely to report participating regularly in sports or extracurricular activities, and more than twice as likely to say that they held a leadership position in a club or sports team, and 78% more likely to volunteer regularly in their communities. 
And whereas mentoring programs have shown to be effective in combating school violence and discipline problems, substance abuse, incarceration, and truancy, I am Mike Vandersteen, the mayor of the city of Sheboygan, to hereby declare January of 2018 as National Mentoring Month in the city of Sheboygan and call upon public officials, business and community leaders, educators, and encourage all citizens of the city to observe this month with the appropriate ceremonies, activities, and programs in order to recognize the men and women who serve as staff and volunteers at quality mentoring programs who help our young people find inner strength to reach their full potential. And I'd like to present this to Shar Pakniak. Shar, again, thank you very much for the work that you do and as well as the others in our community that do something similar. Next, I'd like to call up Mary Rager. This is a really sad day for us, but it's gonna be a happy one for her tomorrow when she wakes up and her, she doesn't have to, to answer that early alarm clock. Mary's been employed by the city for 27 years. She started working at the police department then years later, she transferred over to building inspection, and uh, she even uh, managed the weights and measures department for a while. But then she finally ended up uh, taking a position as the mayor's assistant upon the retirement of Judy Graff. I think she really found her home with, uh, with this assignment. Um, my wife, Julie, the first day I was mayor was in my office, and she asked Mary, how many mayors have you had? And she said that I was her fifth mayor, and uh, this included Jim Schramm, Juan Perez, Bob Ryan, Terry Van Akron, and myself. Um, many of you older persons got to know Mary when she was the secretary for the Committee of the Whole. I want to commend Jim Bourne for trying to have a more permanent uh, record and have somebody in there, and Mary uh, enjoyed that role as well. Uh, Mary's been a dependable assistant. She's, she's kept me and other mayors uh, organized and on time for our appointments. Um, she's taken a lot of phone calls from constituents, and let me tell you, that's not an easy job some days, but uh, she does a great job. Uh, minutes from all of our meetings, and not only the Committee of the Whole, but the Mayor's International Committee, the Mayor's Neighborhood Leadership Cabinet, and the Emergency Management Committee. She's always helping other departments when needed. Uh, uh, she's picked up uh, uh, many things uh, for uh, when it comes to elections to help the clerk's office out. HR, she's taken over the, as the editor of the employee newsletter and editor of also our city uh, newsletter, the Sheboygan Insider. <coughs> Um, as secretary for the Mayor's International Committee, she's developed important <coughs> relationships with, our counter, with her counterparts in Esslingen, and Germany, and has traveled to Esslingen seven times uh, with a delegation from Sheboygan. Four of them, okay. Uh, Mary, I want to thank you for all your hard work. It's been great to work with you for the last four and three quarter years. I want to wish you all the best in, in your retirement, and thank you so much. I'd like to present the Certificate of Appreciation uh, by the City of Sheboygan, and is honored to present Mary Rager the Certificate of Appreciation and Recognition of your 20 CF 27 years of dedicated service to the city from July 3rd of 1990 to January 2nd of 2018. Thank you very much, Mary. Okay, next we'll move on to the consent agenda. That'll uh, include just items 2.2 and 2.3. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file all our O's, accept and adopt all our C's, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on those two items? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? <clears throat> Or 
14 ayes. Motion passes. Uh, next, we'll go on to reports of officers. Uh, items uh, 3.1 through 3.4 will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, item 4.1 will be referred to the Finance and Personnel Committee. Under ordinances, 5.1 will again be referred to the Finance and Personnel Committee. And uh, other matters, City Attorney. Uh, 6.1 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31, 2018 and June 30, 2019. That'll be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. No, me see. Yes, that's correct. Um, Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, before I actually make a motion to adjourn, I would like to welcome Meredith into her new position, and I would like to also say au revoir to Susie. Susan Richards, for the many, 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 many years of putting up with all of us. So, wish you well. Thank you. So, uh, saying that, motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time tonight. Okay.